Today, we are talking with Terry Ayacuzo. Terry, dovetailing on what you said in the previous video about beginners starting on the Rider Waite Smith deck, why? Why do you think that's so important? The Rider Waite Smith, and thank you too for acknowledging Pamela Coleman Smith, is it's like um, a universal language in the tarot world. And um, if you start off and you're learning a totally different language, it, it, it's, it's very hard to communicate, even to the person you're reading, what's, what is seen there. Now, you can do what you want. I'm not taking it away. But some of those decks are artist decks. They're of the way they saw the world. And you can all design your own deck. But st sticking with the classic is like learning the alphabet you know, A, B, C, D, all the way to Z. It's about learning uh, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. This is the deck that is the common language in the tarot. It really is. And it has a lot of psychic power that um, has been uh, in, what's the word, imbued in it through the legacy of all tarot readers. I mean, it really is the number one deck and, and it's easy to read and you, the pictures will help you. The other ones are so confusing and I'm afraid sometimes um, there are hidden directions in other decks that you better off to read them later and collect those decks and look at them. When I went first went to Omega, I looked at other people's decks. I started reading them. I, and I grew as a reader because I learned different ways of looking and seeing. But it's starting out, we want to all speak the same language in the beginning. Start with the Rider Waite Smith deck. Register for this summer's Masters of the Tarot Conference in Rhinebeck, New York, hosted by Mary Kay Greer and Rachel Pollack. For more information, check out mastersofthetarot.com. Links in the video description box.